A North Country Junior High student will be heading to Washington, D.C. in late May to compete against the top young spellers in the nation, and it won't be his first time. Our Paul Larson, who was a judge at the regional event this past weekend, and our SUNY Plattsburgh intern videographer Jean Ulis have more. Hickory. Hickory. H-I-C-K-O-R-Y. Hickory. The regional spelling bee held by Champlain Valley Educational Services started out sweetly. S-U-G-A-R. Sugar. More than 60 students from 25 school buildings in Clinton and Essex counties competed. Luckily, no one did this. Panic. P-A-N-I-C. Panic. Principal Amy Campbell helped organize the event at the host venue, Beekman Town Central School. It's an academic competition and we don't have a lot of those in this area, so this is an opportunity for them to show their prowess at spelling and how much they enjoy just competing against each other. It's an American cultural phenomenon to compete. Soliloquy. S-O-L-I-L-O-Q-U-Y. During the three and a half hour event, students hungered for a win, while the word choice made some in the audience hungry too. Bratwurst. B-R-A-T-W-U-R-S-T. Bratwurst. Eventually, just two guys were close enough to victory to taste it. Sixth grader Drew Knowles from Stafford Middle School, and last year's grand champion, 8th grader Grant Decker of Beekmantown Middle School. Decker had prepared for weeks with a list of words his English teacher had given him. I would take the list and I would write out the words in it three times each and then I'd have one of my parents quiz me on them and then we would highlight the ones that I got wrong so that I could see those and I could respell them until I got them right. When Knowles misspelled this word of Greek origin, Icarus, I-C-A-R-U-S, Icarus. Decker had to spell a word he'd not heard before. Acanthus. Acanthus, yep. A-C-A-N-T-H-U-S, Acanthus. His correct response earned him applause, two trophies, and a dictionary contributed by Miriam Webster. And courtesy of the Press Republican, he also has a scholarship for himself and a chaperone for travel and expenses in Washington, D.C., where he'll compete for a second year in a row in the National Bee this May. Decker already has a plan of attack. I'm going to study a lot of Greek roots, Latin roots, too, because then you can take apart the word and you can really see how it's built to spell it. You can find a list of the top spellers from here in our region by going to mountainlake.org slash spellingbee.